Hi guys, I am unforgivable. Unforgivable. More than three weeks without posting a video. <laughs> and the reason is simply because I totally lost myself in thinking and programming my new season, my 2022 Christmas village. And you know that my uh, new season always starts during the first days of January. Uh, so today I will only do a quick update, I will certainly not do a tutorial and I will not start my new Christmas village. Luckily for me, July is still some months ahead. Uh, you already know my initial idea from my mid-December video and it is still there. A long stripe of water of sea in front of my village, a vertical long uh, harbor, wharf, uh, dock section, this time on the left of the uh, of the village, then minimum four levels and an initial state idea of steampunk. But I uh, sincerely not had time to develop that idea yet because I lost myself in stairs. You know that I'm mad, I'm crazy, I love stairs and I always try to find a new design, a new techniques, new materials to uh, do my stairs. I need at least a big impact stairs uh, for all my Christmas villages. And it, uh, after all these years, it is difficult to find some new design. But I managed, I think I have managed it. Um, Victorian era is not modern, so I didn't make the mistake of uh, designing something too modern, too, too contemporary. But I couldn't avoid to look at Baroque time, Baroque design. Baroque design is 100 years before Victorian era, so 1700 century. Uh, Victorian era is 1840 up to 1912, 1913, more or less. And a Victorian era design cannot avoid to be influenced by some of the past design. And so I mixed a uh, stairs, a uh, initial uh, industrial time stair for Victorian era with a baroque stair. Baroque wall, um, design was very round uh, with plenty of uh, um, little statues here and there with many friezes here, very difficult to duplicate, very difficult to replicate. But I, I think I managed something doable and something uh, with a visual impact. Okay? And then... And then my 2021 uh, Christmas Village was my first teamed uh, Christmas Village. I always went with a general, with, with general Christmas Village. But in 2021, I decided to go, as you have seen, with a section dedicated to a National Greek Park. And then on the opposite side, I have a um, uh, medieval design building and then up on the uh, right, my uh, future homes section. My first design, my first teamed uh, village, sorry. Why not going with a new team for 2022? So, after a, a long um, journey, after three weeks of thinking, I, fi I finally find I finally found, sorry, my new team, and I will not reveal it, sorry, but it will be at least uh, um, necessary to do one, two, three, four different sections, and each and single one of them different from the others to go with my Phil Rouge, my new team, okay? Um, no, no, I will 
and B, I will shout my mom. Okay, but I also went with something uh, else. Um, I let, let me do an introduction. You know that I love making myself the maximum of things. I need to build with my proper hands the majority of the uh, Christmas village. And I will certainly continue that way. Uh, and you know that my favorite building material is this little 9 millimeters styrofoam panel. But for my new uh, village, my 2022 village, I had no choice but to go with something new. I decided to go with a 3D printer. Don't worry, I will explain it why. Uh, the only thing I am not able to do with styrofoam or with uh, resin or with any other materials are figurines. And that's the reason why I went with a 3D printer. In fact, I have two 3D printers. Because I need some new figurines. And I always lack figurines, new, new figurines for mm, multiple reasons. Mm, Limax, Lemax, as you call it as you want, doesn't do a very, a very big variety of figurines each and single one of the season. Last season they put on the market no more than four, five new figurines, five new Victorian era figurines. It's not enough. A village must be animated and only figurines. So I decided to design myself the figurines. Yes, it is complicated, but you can manage to design yourself the figurines. And then, and then I needed something to realize my figurines. So the only way to do that is to have a 3D printer. So I experimented the two types of printers. Maybe if you want to leave a comment, I will go in details with the 3D printing uh, proce um, procedures, with 3D printing procedures. Yes, sorry for my bad English right now. But right now, uh, I will anticipate that I will be using, during the off-season, a 3D printer for doing some figurines. Many, type of fi many types of figurines for my four themed sections, but also for one big section. And this one, I will reveal it to you because I noticed and I uh, always had the impression that Circus has always been lacking from every Christmas village from around the world, simply because not all the manufacturers do Christmas um, circus, uh, Christmas village themed circus figurines and apparels and a tent, etc. So I will build myself the circus tent. Ta da! Voila! This is a reveal for my, the first reveal for my 2022. Um, village and then the figurines i started designing my figurines i've already uh, finished three of them maybe i will show you one of the results in just some minutes but uh, i was saying yes you have some little figurines as uh, the portal of a carnival um, a man with balloons and a mix of different uh, things than the carnival with all the um, the, move, the, the attraction etc but not a circus for me and at least in europe uh, christmas is a, a synonym of circus yes carnival yes but also circus and uh, um, animated attractions are very industrial time but in the first centuries 8040. Just remember Barnum Circus in the US. Circus was very important, was a 
a very important attraction. So I decided to design a complete seat, uh, sorry, a complete set of figurines for my uh, circus. Then I will add maybe lions, elephants, and any other thing. I don't like zoos because I don't like animals behind the cages. But in uh, circus, yes, they are still sometimes behind the cages, behind bars, uh, in, in cages, behind bars, sorry. But uh, they are also uh, free from, uh, and they can walk and they are not standing all the time there in the cages. So I hate zoos, at least ancient type of zoos. Modern zoos are different, are very big, very large, with animals free to walk here and there. But that's um that's not the case i was uh, talking about the circus so the circus animal lions yes uh, um elephant yes i'm trying to figure if i can uh, design them yes and then um, and then some other thing i will try to do a massive amount of figurines a massive amount of animals and different type of attraction dedicated to the circus and then a big tent but obviously I will not be able to do all I want inside a tent. So the tent will be the background, the big circus tent. Maybe red and white stripes or blue and white stripes or I don't know yet. And then I will try to do a three ring circus in front of the, that tent because it's a, a way better that way you can see and watch everything so this is one big the first one the first not big the first reveal of my 2022 so circus very detailed as much as i can i will try to work from now on all these all these points that that are separating me from july i will produce a maximum amount of figurines and then I will build the circus stand in front of your eyes, starting from uh, July. Review. I've already do a figurine. Let me bring this one, this little one, and then, ta-da! I will put it right there. Maybe I will. I have started. I don't know if uh, you are. Okay, let's go that way. I will go. Sorry, it's not always easy to work in front of a camera. Voila, like that. A clown, it is more of a devil clown, okay? Very detailed for me. It, is, it has the right dimension. Still not painted, yes. And uh, still not painted, guys, okay? Still not painted. Voila. Mm, first time uh, I, <laughs> I'm flashing right now sorry um, so clown clown with balloons etc with uh, but it has also a Neville face okay because clowns are supposed to scare everyone especially little kids okay Sorry. So I went with my first uh, uh, figurines and I've designed it and I've um, tried to go as close as possible with the uh, Lamax figurines dimension. So the, the, height, the height is there, so between 5.6 and 6 centimeters from uh, foot to head. And then this goes over the head, obviously. But it is there. Uh, the other ones will uh, will come. Yes, uh, magicians, uh, firemen, um, cannon, um, not cannonmen. What is is a bullet man, bullet man with a cannon, a strongman, and then uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> I've revealed too much. But this is. I will go. Maybe in the next months, next few months, I will reveal my team. Not now. It's not that simple to reveal it. But it is here. Thank you, guys. See you very soon, I hope. Bye. Ciao. Au revoir.